Which market? Where are we? We're at the Gush Etzion Junction, where um, everybody shops here. As a matter of fact, you can't get parking anymore because there's so many Arabs that come to the parking lot, which is fine. This is coexistence, the same reason there's traffic on our roads. So people tell us we have apartheid of roads, and then we have lots of traffic and no parking. So something isn't fitting. <laughs> And somebody's taking up two parking spaces and not watching yeah. the lines. No, I'm just saying, we coexist here and there's like stuff going on and the reality and what people think is happening bear little to no resemblance to each other. And Ari Fold, whose daughter Tamar is best friends with my daughter Neely, was murdered here a month ago, right there, stabbed in the back. Stabbed where? Stabbed in the back. He was stabbed there. Stab he ran over here. Was stabbed there? Yeah, coming out of what supermarket? Well, he was standing out here, but the lady who was in the falafel stand here had just sold the terrorist murder murderer a falafel and then he started chasing her after he knifed Ari and Ari shot at him and saved her like his dying breath was saving her. She was in the hospital for a couple of days and with trauma. Uh -huh. um, so and is this the did, this, did he hop over this? Yeah he hopped over this. That glass door was smashed while so I was here the next day. The glass was totally smashed because he fell into it or bumped into uh -huh. it somehow and um, and then the assassin and ran off he died there with the candles on where the candles are is, is, is where he fell. Do they get relit? Somebody light them? I have no idea. Uh huh. And the terrorists the fact ran is off here. That, uh, we're here, and that's the biggest message of all. They're not driving us away. Terrorism tries to scare people. That's why every time you go to the airport, you're supposed to be freaked out. This is not Israel's problem, this is the world's problem. So uh, that's what everyone has to understand. So, well, actually, if it wasn't for Israel, the world would be in a lot more shape. If it wasn't well, for people like Ari Fould, who was a hero to his dying breath here, there's a lot of other heroes, like in the army, you see some soldiers behind me. So these guys aren't just protecting Israel. When they protect Israelis from Hamas, they're mm -hmm. protecting the world from terrorism. Because if these guys get stronger, never, ever. Wait, when the you, these guys meaning Hamas? Hamas. Hamas so yeah, when the, if the Palestinians get stronger. And the Iranians and everybody. So... Know, a Palestinian state here instead of Israel, which is what they want, uh, will be a, a threat to the world. It will be another terror state. I think we have enough. In Iran, supported terror state? Uh, by everybody. By Iran, by Saudi Arabia, take your pick. You know, even though people hate each other here, like Iran hates Saudi Arabia, they're, they hate the Christians and Jews more. So we have to understand that Israel's battle is everybody's battle. We just fight it here locally. But we don't think hate. So over here, like I couldn't find parking because this parking lot is so full of uh, Palestinian Arab cars, which is fine. We shop together in the supermarkets. We have falafel here. And uh, I'm not going to look at somebody and be suspicious. And if she drops something, I'm going to help her pick it up because we're decent people. And hopefully, you know, everything will be good. But um, I'm not going to let them change me. But uh, I'm not going to be afraid. So. What's this vicinity called? The Gush Etzion Junction, it's halfway between Jerusalem and Hebron. And there has been Jewish settlement here since they were Jews pretty much from the heart of Judea. What towns? King, what Bethlehem, yeah. Hebron, David, yeah, all that, right here, about five minutes up the road. What towns are in the vicinity? The Jewish towns that are here, yeah. well, formerly Jewish towns would be Bethlehem, for example that aren't Jewish anymore because they managed to ethnically cleanse the Jews out of their, the Arabs, well, the Muslims along the way. But, um, but around here we've got uh, Efrat, where I live, and El Azar, named after the fifth Maccabee brother who was killed fighting the Soviet States about 2,100 years ago here. And um, Alun Shvut, and Rosh Tzurim, and all kinds of places. So lots of different Jewish towns, Karmate Tour down the road. So this is the week of Ari's Shloshim, which means 30, 30 days, days since since, since his passing. He wasn't uh, not passing since his murder. Since he, since he was murdered. Yes, he didn't die of cancer. Uh huh. Was, was it a hit? Was it a hit job on him? Was no, he? I don't think did they? So. Not no, it hasn't that's been right. proven. No, because no. we know where the guy was. He went to Hebron first. He came here. He hit the knife. It would. It doesn't seem like he was tracking Ari in any way. But uh, was he asking, the assassin asking for an English speaker? He asked the falafel lady if she spoke English. It's unclear why he did that. Was he targeting Americans? Maybe? I don't know. I'm sitting here speaking English. This are is my country. Are there we have a lot some of really bad people here, and I could get knifed in five minutes. 
but um, that's not going to keep us from doing what we need to do. Because if we all like get scared and go away, then the bad guys win everywhere.